Do you want to spice up those boring video chats that so many of us are having to do for work or school? In this video, I'll show you how to use the Snap Camera app for your home computer combined with a video teleconferencing software for fun effects. And away we go. Hey guys, it's Josh with No Dad No Problem featuring how to's, interviews, and reviews you can use. So, my work has gone to a lot of teleworking, and we have video teleconferences at least three times a week. My school age kids are having to check in with their teachers for group classes, and one of my daughters is having dance classes online. So, I thought to myself, how could this be more fun? So I did a little research and I figured it out how I could push live video feed with filters applied over the Zoom software, which is what I use for work for the video teleconferences. Uh, and I've also found that using the same video source that we can make this work over Skype, Google Hangouts, and multiple other software applications. In this video, I'm only going to demonstrate doing it on Zoom, but again, the steps will be pretty much the same. So let's cut to the computer screen. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to direct your web browser to snapcamera.snapchat.com. And I'll have the link below uh, in the video details. When you get here, you're going to go to download. Click the download button. Wait for this to load. It's going to tell you what the system requirements are. Scroll through all this like you actually read it. You're going to want to click here to say that I have read and agree. Going to enter your email address. And you're going to click I am not a robot. Unfortunately, we have to go through this here. Hopefully, that'll be enough for it. All right, accepted it. And then we're going to choose download for Mac or download for PC. Personally, I'm on a PC, so I'm going to click that button. And right down there, it's going to start the download of it. It's a fairly large file, 81 megabytes, so it may take a little bit of time based off of your internet connection speed. Once that's downloaded, you're going to launch the download and go through the install process. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. It's just a lot of clicking next. Once that's downloaded and installed, you're going to want to run the software. The software itself, when you launch it, will look like this. So... What I've got here is my video source here. Below here, there's featured filters, and then there's a ton of filters that are in here based off of what kind of effect you want to choose. Uh, I like this one a lot. but uh, So there are a lot of great filters that you can include. Another thing that I like is the search function. So if you want it to look like a zombie, you can look like a zombie. Ah. And there are a lot of zombie options, so find the one you like, regardless of what it is. All right, this is a goofy enough one for me to continue with. Um, so after that's happened, now we have our live feed or our feed that we can pull in to our uh, video teleconferencing software running. So you're gonna to wanna to launch whatever your video teleconferencing software is. I've already got Zoom loaded up and ready to go. I'm logged in here. And just to demonstrate that it works, since I don't have an active meeting going, I'm gonna click the Start button to start my own private meeting. And then Join with Computer Audio. I've tested it enough to know that it works. Now, as you can see, there's no video running on it at the current time. Now, if I come here to Start Video, and what the key is going to be, is I'm gonna select Snap Camera as the camera that it's doing because that's the camera feed that's coming out of the Snapchat Snap Camera application. So I have Snap Camera selected, start video. And at this point in time, I am on Zoom with my Snap Camera filters going. Uh, at any time during my feed, if I wanna change my filter, I most certainly can do that. Just like that. So again, it's downloading and installing the Snap Camera app. Uh, the link will be in the uh, video uh, description. And then it is 
launching that, selecting the filters that you want, whatever they may be, and then in your video conferencing software, whatever you're choosing to use, selecting your video source as Snap Camera. Again, I've tried this with Skype, I've done it with Google Hangouts, and I've done it with Zoom, and it works just the same for all three of them. So have some fun. So there you have it, guys, using the uh, Snap Camera app to apply filters for live video streaming uh, over video conferencing applications. If this video has helped you in any way, please consider leaving us a like. Uh, let us know down below if it worked for you, what fun you had with it, because uh, this can be a lot of fun. Uh, your subscriptions help our channel grow. Ringing the bell will, will notify you when we upload new content. Other than that, be well, be blessed, be loved, and have the best day ever.